today I just wanted to show you how to install the Platinum SEO plugin and configure it. So we'll just go to plugins, add new, type in the search term which is Platinum SEO. You'll see that it's here. See it's the first one here. Click to install it. Click the install now button. Activate the plugin and you'll see it's the only plugin that I have active on this. So now we need to configure it. So if we come down here we see that it's got its own little configuration panel here, Platinum SEO. So we just click this link and in the first box we we want to put our title, so this is where you should be putting your keyword. So, for example, and that would show up on the browser. So, we want keyword and something that will entice people if they see it on our browser. Then we want a description because this shows up in the organic listings in Google. So So something that you want on your organic listings but hopefully it should read like an AdWords ad so you have a limited amount of characters but they should be enough that they will entice people to go to your site and read more. Then you want some home keywords. Now you really shouldn't be targeting too many keywords here. I looked at a website the other day and they seem to have 16 keywords in their home keywords. It's not really realistic that you're going to ever rank for those. So I would be cautious between keyword 1, 2 and keyword 3, perhaps up to keyword 4 and keyword 5. I really would be going for less rather than more. Just want to leave these like this. Now if your um, posts are SEO'd, which we'll talk about in a minute, um, for your keywords. So say I was writing a post on WordPress Mew um, and my keyword was how to install WordPress Mew then I would want my post title just to be there rather than my blog title WP Queen because it doesn't have any SEO value. So I'd just be deleting that if I'm using post names as my keywords. If my blog title was my keyword, then I would keep that in. But generally, your blog title is only one keyword. It's your posts that make up the different keywords. And with the page title, I use pages for contact, sitemap and disclaimer. So I don't care that they're page title, blog title, etc. If I have a category that I'm using as a keyword, which I like to do, again, I will delete the blog title. So it's just a category title. And you can customise this further if you wish. Um, if you just pretty well leave it um, as it is default, you should be okay. Make sure the box down the bottom is unchecked like this because you don't want to be linking out to other sites. No doubt your theme already has a link out on the other site. So you don't want too many links out to other sites. Okay, um, that's pretty well all that we need to do there. So just click Update Options. So that's our overall settings for Platinum SEO. So this is the way it works for the whole blog. Now on an individual post basis, we also use the Platinum SEO plugin. So I'm just going to add a post. I'll just uh, paste, oops. So 
So today I was trying to rank for the keyword architects in New York. I'd want that in my title. So rather than what do architects do in New York, I'd wanted architects in New York. And I want it to be enticing for visitors so that they want to click and read it. So I've got my keyword as close to the title as possible. And a bit of enticement or curiosity feature afterwards. So then if we come down and we go to the Platinum SEO settings, we can choose what we want here. So the title, we just want Architects in New York. And if you didn't have that in your title, if you were focusing on something that would be more enticing on visitors up here, like um, how to save money so you want something more exciting um, or enticing to visitors up the top so your keywords aren't actually in the title then you would put the keywords in the title down here instead so that they would still show up on your title and description and your description again just like when we configured the plugin needs to be enticing because if the post is ranked um, in the Google organic listings this is the description that will be shown to people on the organic listings so just like an AdSense AdWords ad needs to be concise 160 characters and something that will want people to click through there once. I might sometimes try and get it in twice. I've got it in twice now with once with a plural. And I'll be only targeting one keyword per post. So my keyword is architects in New York. Um, you can put in other keywords if you wish. I find that it's usually best just to target one keyword or two keywords and not too many. Now because I want this post to be indexed by Google, I make sure that the radio button index and follow is checked. Um, and that's all I do there. And then of course you would add tags, etc. over here. So one of my tags would be Architects in New York and that sets up a separate tag page with WordPress which is very powerful. So then we would just publish that. Now the next thing I'm going to do is add a page. So say um, pages should be used for things like your contact details, privacy policy, download pages, um, affiliate pages maybe, um, disclaimer, like that should always be a page. Now whether you want them indexed or not is a matter for you. So if it was an affiliates page you might want that indexed so that people can find your affiliate program and sign up with you. Your download page you definitely don't want indexed by the search engines because then people will be ripping off your downloads. Things like contact, your privacy, disclaimer should all be no indexed because you're just wasting good um, page rank and link juice by indexing them. So say we, this is our contact page, when we come down here, um, of course we're not going to allow comments on that, we wouldn't put a title in, we wouldn't put a description in, we wouldn't put keywords in and we put no index, no follow because we don't want it indexed or followed by Google. We want all of our link love to go on our post pages that we want to get ranked for our particular keywords. And that's all uh, you really know, need to know about using Platinum SEO at a basic level. 